Hey everybody, I'm going to be putting a couple of videos out today. This first video is going to be about uh, fight predictions on two different fights. Uh, two fights I feel very sure about. And if I was a betting guy, I would be betting on either of these two fights because I truly believe that uh, these two fights are going to go like what I'm predicting here. Uh, you know, here and there a fight comes up and you can just pretty much lay out there what's going to happen uh, just by looking at past experiences and past things. And, uh, you know, experiences in fights that you've seen or maybe if you are a boxer today, uh, people you've boxed or similarities you have with your style against other types of styles. And there's a whole host of reasons, but uh, first fight I want to talk about is Joshua and Nganu. And I would, I'm almost going to guarantee both these fights, but there's no guarantees in boxing, but hey, unless you're Ali, right, when he's picking rounds, uh, you know, he, had, he was pretty much a guarantee for a good, good long while there, but uh, the rest of us, there's no guarantee. Um, Joshua is going to get knocked out, and he's he's not going to be getting down and taking a knee. This is not going to work out very good for Anthony Joshua. Um, I'll give you my reasons why in a moment. Um, Nengano is going to knock him out inside of nine rounds probably sooner and they're two big slow as snail guys uh, if we were producing smaller heavyweights right now uh, we wouldn't even be talking about either one of these two guys neither one of them not with concerns to boxing, maybe Nganu and with concerns to MMA, uh, but we wouldn't even be talking about these two guys. Um, boxing is so weird right now. Weird, 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 weird. And it's been weird so long, young folk can't even, they think it's normal. And when you give them some normality into the heavyweight division, they can't absorb it or uh, understand it or absorb it. Um, but I'm telling you, both these fighters are no good. Uh, Joshua uh, is, is going through a psychological problem, and this problem was not addressed years of, some years ago. Uh, and it's a chin problem and it stems back to uh, fights he had uh, that he lost to Andy Ruiz the one he lost to Andy Ruiz none of that psychology has been addressed I'm not sure if trainers in England could have addressed that psychology for him or, or helped him w with or through that. But, but uh, because I believe there's a probably 10 guys in the world that can work on that. Uh, and I'm going to go out on the limb and be boastful here. I think I would be one of them. Uh, 
much, then it's just a sad shame to see a guy throw away several years there, uh, which happened in the case of Anthony and Joshua, and not addressing from a psychological standpoint those issues that happened. Uh, even a lot of older trainers that uh, maybe they were training people in the 70s uh, would have no idea how to really address these situations. And it, and it happens to a lot of fighters and a lot of weight divisions, but uh, I don't know of a name for the condition, but you, you get chin shy and uh, you get punch shy to an extent and you just will, will not let those hands go. Uh, but Nagano's going to take him out within nine. Uh, and that's what's going to happen there. With a vague explanation behind it because I'd have to sit down here and really use a lot of a little bit of brain power I have left describing the psychology behind it but I just gave you a wide array and nobody sees it I'm one of the few uh, there's some other old timers that see it but they're few and far between uh, of, of anybody that even sees the psychology this went on with uh, Anthony and Joshua um, as a young guy and a young boxer, I was around the people that were with Big John Tate. And so I, right outside the little circle here, you know, just right outside the little circle revolving around it, uh, heard all the stories of these old timers in real time as it happened. What happened with John Tate and uh, more importantly, the mistakes afterwards and them looking back on what they should have done and, and how they should have worked with him after he suffered a, uh, dominated clearly every round of uh, a 15 round WBA championship fight and lost his crown with 45 seconds left uh, due to a complete knockout a La La Land knockout with 40 sec 45 seconds left in the 15th round. So these things are psych psychological. There's a there's a, a lot to boxing. Um, now, not gonna be so kind and gentle on this next fight I'm gonna talk about. And that is Haney Garcia. Uh, It's, Garcia is going to lose. Uh, I would say it's going to be within nine rounds too. Uh, it, but I'm anticipating that Garcia is going to get knocked out much earlier if that fight takes place, if it even takes place. Uh, I'm leaning towards somewhat that that fight is going to be uh, postponed one time and then it's going to be called off. Uh, Ryan Garcia is lost. Um, and I want to tell you my mode of reasoning of why. If you've been following Garcia here lately, uh, all this information coming out on him, the uh, pot smoking, the drinking, the accusations of cocaine use and things like that. Uh, if even 20% of that is true, he's gonna get his clock cleaned uh, by Haney if that fight does take place. He's gonna get his ass knocked out. That's exactly what's gonna happen. Um, 
when he stands up and says, well, and others do, like Robert Garcia, Robert Garcia is better than this. He's better than this. Well, all these fighters, they smoke pot and get drunk all the time now. So it's normal now. Uh, I would tell Robert Garcia, uh, no, it's not normal now. And if it's normal where you're at uh, and become normal here recently, like you said it was, uh, you better get your ducks in order because you got a bunch of people around you that are doomed to failure and you are going to go down in the trash bin of boxing history uh, yourself by pulling these people that it's okay to drink and all this. And this is going on while Ryan Garcia is supposed to be in camp, right? Uh, no, while, yeah, while Ryan Garcia is supposed to be in camp. So uh, that was ridiculous that Robert Garcia came out saying that. Um, I've watched uh, Ryan Garcia in the past few interviews he's done. I've seen what everybody else is seeing, a deeper, more scratchy voice, which would be uh, you could attribute to heavy pot smoking and heavy uh, or moderate even coke use uh, and drinking. Uh, I want to hit the pot smoking from this perspective. Uh, number one, I, uh, I tell all kids around me, don't do it. This is the thing. This is what I tell everybody. Uh, look at look at Trump, for example. You can hate the man's stands or his politics. All right. Uh, look at look at him. Look at how quick memoried he is, how quick witted he is, as old as he is. Uh, that man has elected to never drink, never smoke a cigarette, never, never inhale anything or ingest anything that would be altering his mind. And uh, I'm going to make a lot of enemies here. I'm going to make a lot of enemies. With the, I ain't going to make enemies, but I'm going to have people who are going to be upset with this statement here. Any time anytime you're putting something in your body that's altering your consciousness uh, your brain patterns your thinking uh, you are killing yourself now let me explain this uh, you young folks don't don't remember and more than likely have never been taught we used to call these things, alcohol used to be called spirits. When I was a kid, uh, it wasn't, uh, let's go down and buy alcohol. It was like, I'm gonna go down, I'm getting some spirits. And uh, here's why. It uninhibits you to bad things. This high waska or whatever that, the hell this mess is that people are getting into now, how Bosco or whatever. Uh, the mushrooms and things like that. Uh, no, 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 and no. Uh, I, I, I seen Mike Tyson was, oh yeah, I met a lizard and then I found God and all this. It was crazy, and it is crazy. No, you saw some lizard, but probably some lizard people uh, there, there you can take that conspiracy theorist and Satan confused you because this evil spirits that you're going to be happen up on when the alcohol or whatever you're doing to your system uninhibits you and the things that you are psychedelically or tripping out on 
are coming from evil. They're not coming from anything good. So that out of the way. Uh, that being said, I'm coming from a position uh, that I've done a lot of things in my life that are unbecoming. I've been down many of, not all those roads, but I've been down many of those roads and experienced it myself and wish I never went down roads like that. These, these things will confuse you and in the end they will draw you away from the essence of the one true God, Jesus Christ. And they'll pull you away and get you into thinking you've got peace and you're going to get roasted. I'm going to leave that one alone. One last thing I'm going to say. All right. Pot mellows me out. Pot just, just I'm like, mellow. Yeah, that's exactly what you need to be doing to, is, is to get yourself as mellow and happy and just there, beautiful, everything's flowers, and get in a damn ring. Are you crazy? Are you literally nutsoid? Right? All right. Now, I'll give you a little bit of my life. Uh, probably if pot did it for me, I'd probably, maybe I'd smoke it because I, I don't know about, I do think that pot's harmful, and I'll tell you the, this why. I've had probably about 60 to 80 percent of the friends I've had, people I've worked around, people I've socialized around that were daily pot smokers, uh, I'll say 60, I'll say 60, 70 percent of them. Uh, and maybe I should go down the list and come back and give some accuracy on this to the, some of the ills of pot smoking. Of the, all these individuals have got leukemia and passed away from uh, leukemia. I just find that odd. Uh, if you had a guy that was growing up there and eating uh, you, you're in your life and all through your life and these people ate green beans daily and that was the thing that you saw that they did daily, you would probably stay away from uh, green beans. Even a little bird, if he goes up and lands in a tree uh, in North Carolina and somebody tries to shoot the bird in that tree, or more than likely go down to South Carolina and sit in trees. He's not going back to that same tree no more. And he's got that little bitty bird brain smart enough to figure that out. So, uh, Wrapping all that up into a summary, uh, it's not good to do anything that's going to be altering your mind, putting chemicals in your body, uh, putting natural things in your body uh, that's going to be altering your state of being, uh, taking you to a other place. You don't need that. You need to be where you are, and through prayer, and med meditative prayer, you need to go somewhere else. That, that, that's the way you're going to get the... And I know it's falling on deaf ears here, but I'm telling you, I've been around the block thousands of times, and the only thing that's really worked for me, therefore, really, in reality, irrespective of what you said, because I might have been humming a different tune 25, 30 years ago, the only thing that's going to give, give you solace is what gave me solace, and that's in prayer. That's the real calm you're going to get. And ain't nowhere else to go get it, sorry as I can be. So I've got off on a so social tangent and this and that and the other. Some old man rambles came out, but Ryan Garcia's not going to win this, and Ryan Garcia is finished. He's done. He's done. He's finished. Uh, I don't appreciate uh, Robert Garcia coming out and saying, 
Well, they all smoke pot. They're all getting drunk. They're all doing this. They're all doing that, which he just said in the interview yesterday. Uh, because, no, Mr. Garcia, they're not all doing that. They're not all doing that. And as a matter of fact, Mr. Garcia, if you would like to see if you've got anywhere, any, a kid uh, 15 to 17 years old that's, I'll say, 175 or heavier, uh, and that's what these kids are doing, what you need to do is accept a challenge from my kid and we'll show you how it works. We, anybody you got, anybody. It could be somebody in Arabia, it could be somebody in Russia, it could be somebody in the UK, South America, Mexico, or further north in, in the main continent uh, of more northward, North America. And we'll show you. Uh, this boy would be happy, happy to show you, sir. So, uh, if ES News gets this back to you, because we know they watch here, uh, that that is a open thing, and it, it wouldn't be nothing out of anger. It is open. We can't find sparring partners. Let's see if you guys. Uh, up there got anything you'd like to do and we'll do it in a peaceful good way but and I'll shake your hand and hug you and kiss your cheek uh, cause I like you I just and I and I believe you, you would like me uh but uh you now I'll show you you got you got these boys up there and they smoking pot and drinking and carrying on doing this or that or the other, did the mushrooms, whatever, uh, cactus swaps, I don't know, whatever people do. Uh, uh, Mr. Garcia, Joe would be happy to hard go at it with any guy you got. And he, we will show you. Pick out the strongest, bestest, fastest pot smoker you got up there, and, and we'll give you a lesson on how that's going, how that works. So, uh, and I no doubt Garcia, Robert Garcia is right about that. They're all doing that. My and and they're fighting each other. But my point is, when they come up on these guys that aren't doing anything, they're basically in camp. Uh, 365 days a year and just step it up a month or so or a few weeks or so before a big fight, those guys will completely annihilate the rest of the junk out here. And this is why I know Tyson Fury's days are numbered as well. So I've got off on my tangent there. Young people, keep your ass off of substances. Put good, clean food in your bodies. Train hard every day. Pray hard every day, and you'll get somewhere. You listen to these damn fools that are smoking dope and uh, psychedelic mushrooms and cactus things or whatever, and pot and all, and drinking is good. Is do it to cope. Uh, I tell you, do Christ to cope. Pray to cope. And that just angers me when I hear that mess. So, anyway, hope everybody's having a great weekend. I would take it to the bank. I'm 95% sure on this. Uh, it's going to be two knockouts. The guys that are going to be getting knocked out. It's going to be Anthony Joshua and Ryan Garcia, and I'm almost there to guaranteeing it, so uh, take it to the bank. And if it doesn't happen, I'm great at eating crow. Crow is natural, it's got a lot of protein, and I've ate quite a bit of it. See you guys later.